Welcome to my simple guide to get you started in Dyson Sphere program. This is not a guide to perfect construction and planning, but a simple way to get your production working properly and efficiently. To get the same world, use the seed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, let's get going. First, recycle the capsule and put those fuel rods in your fuel chamber. Then start gathering basic materials, stone, copper, iron and coal. Also remember to start the first research right at the beginning. A lot of the beginning is waiting for materials and components to be built and manually gathering more materials for this. You just need to give yourself some time to get things sorted and to get those initial research steps done to get into full production. The first research requires 10 magnetic coils. Gather the required materials and build the full stack of 20 units of those. Next, research the production facilities and machinery. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting. And gather more materials. Always check your research needs in the top left corner of the screen and build the required components ASAP. Coal is the best fuel for Icarus in the beginning of the game. Try to avoid using wood or plant fuel, as gathering them will increase your workload and make your life miserable. So always pursue coal. That's your initial research queue. Leave the electromagnetic matrix last, as you won't be able to utilize it in quite some time anyway. You'll need your full tier 1 production before you can start making those matrices at all. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve... Always try to keep yourself busy gathering more materials while waiting for the initial research steps to finish. It's gonna make your progression faster at every step early in the game. Then it's time to start the production line. First we have the iron mining machine. Make sure to capture as many ore veins in the mining area as possible to make it as efficient as possible. We will also need a storage for the ore, so make that happen in the replicator queue. Gather more materials. Then we of course need power as well, so place that first turbine near the iron miner. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply. When ready, place the storage unit near the miner and connect them to store the iron. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can mass it. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Next, direct your efforts towards expanding your power production. Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply.
After that is done, it's time to expand the production line with a copper miner. Place a storage unit next to it and connect them. You can use the shift key to copy any given item on the map, without a need to go into your inventory to select the wanted item to build. The inventory gets really messy and convoluted to handle pretty early in the game, so you better use the shift key to copy items you want to build. Next you do the same with the coal production. No more manual gathering as you make the machines do the work for you. Now that you have your core mining operation running and producing raw materials, it's time to build those iron and copper smelters to produce the basic components much faster. When building these smelters, make sure to leave plenty of space between them. Do not cluster them together, as doing so will very quickly result in impossible management of the production lines. A good rule is to leave enough space for one building to fit in between. This way you can easily build the required conveyor belts to and from each building, and you still have enough room left for expansion at a later time. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the After next selecting the recipe you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater I recommend to build 6 iron ingot smelters, 6 magnet smelters, and 2 copper ingot smelters. This will guarantee a sufficient production of the components for the next production line, which is the assembling line. For this amount of production, you'll need more iron, and then of course more power. So focus on getting another miner and more power production.
at this point of your production line, make sure to build the storage of these components close to each other and away from the smelter line. This will help delivering those components for the assembly line when that time comes.
after properly adjusting your iron and copper production line to have a surplus of raw materials and no bottlenecks in the components delivery lines. It's time for the stone production line. This will produce the next core components for your building projects. Stone bricks and glass. The project is similar to the earlier production lines. Build the miner, storage, then the smelters and storage for them as well. Then, finally, it's time to move to the assembly line. You need to produce three core components via this line. Magnetic coils, gears and circuit boards. Once again, remember to leave enough space in between the assembling machines, so you have room for the conveyor belts and expansion in the future.
and there you go. All production lines working well and the assembly line in full production. At last we have reached a point where we can effectively start producing the electromagnetic matrix. This will open up the next tier of production and take us closer to getting off the planet and expanding further into the Dyson Sphere program. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the whole. Your production compound has reached a certain scale. Now click the statistics panel button at the bottom right corner of the screen to view statistics. It includes the output consumption of each item, electricity data, etc. Use these dynamic data can help you to manage your production base. That's the end of this starter tutorial. I hope you find this useful, maybe even entertaining, and give the video a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel for future content. I hope you enjoy your time in this amazing universe. Stay productive, healthy and safe everyone.